Writing is hard sometimes. I, I'm, I'm more of a player than a writer. But uh, when I do write, it's over the years it's changed. Now my favorite way of writing is I just think I think of a lyric. I think of words, you know. Tonight I'm playing in Tanny. So I could take that. Tonight I'm playing in Tanny. That's we've got a rhythm now. And then I put the melody. Tonight I'm playing in Tanny. Tonight I'm playing in Tanny. You know, and then the third one has to be different. Tonight, tonight, I'm playing in Tanny. Come on. You know, so that's that it's nice to have words. That's the best place to start. Every musician. If you're lucky, you get to live a long time and you get closer and closer to your instrument, you get closer and closer to the music in your head and in your heart, and it, it grows and it changes. And I think when you first start off, you want to show the world, look, I can play. You know, you, you sort of want to you know, start off with an explosion.
always so happy when anybody plays well. Um, but I, I found that most of my students are pretty good guitar players, but usually they need more help with the overall being a musician. Like they, they need to be able to count to four, you know, to go one, two, three, whoop, and, and to count off the band. And you know, they might have the fingers moving, but you know, they have got to get their body grooving. Like they, they, I, gotta, I teach them about you know, how to move the shoulder. And, and how to move, move the head, and how to, how to you know, look at an audience and get them to move. And, because that's, that people forget that when they're just playing scales all the time. You know, so that's, uh, I, I, I find what's missing, and it's usually that. Well, right, right now I'm teaching my son to play, and I, I just have him strum, and then I, I hold the chords. So if you can find somebody, if you can find a friend who can hold the chords for you, and then just you know play simple Beatles songs or, or you know and just strum daka 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 just to get used to it. And the nice thing about strumming is you don't have to be careful. It's like painting with a big brush, and you're just making paint and just you know you're just making sound. And then you know some, you get somebody who's a good guitar player to hold down the chord. But and then later maybe after you've been strumming for a couple months, you get used to that. You know, then they can say, okay, now I'll learn the chord. Because that's tricky. You know, that's, the left hand's harder. But, uh, you know, just, and that's the thing, too, is like a lot of my students never learn to strum. I can't believe it. Like, it's, it's so, it's easy and fun, and they just like, no, I only play skip. It's like, no, give it a big strum. You know, that's, that's the best thing. My wife's coming up for the encore to play some keyboards. And I have two amazing Italian musicians backing me up. On the drums, we have uh, Anto Antonio Muto. And or Muto, I've got to learn how to pronounce it. My American accent. And on uh, on bass, we've got Marco uh, Galliero. Both both awesome.